Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Confire Crew. We're here to talk about another episode of The Walking Dead. We have eight moments, eight top moments for this week's episode. So let's get talking about it right now. Well, we were worried about Maggie's baby. We weren't sure what was going on with her, but safe to say the baby is okay. But the doctor explains to her that she is going to need to stay at Hilltop so he can monitor and make sure that the baby is okay. This seems like an obvious thing that we, we already knew she was going up there. Now they just gave us more of a reason for reason why she needs to be up there. Now, what I thought was kind of kind of sweet was the fact that they did bring Abraham and Glenn's body there to be buried. And they have them nicely buried. And you have Jesus over there putting flowers on them. It's real this kind of a sweet moment. But the sweet moment gets interrupted by moment number two. And that is Gregory. Gregory shows up. This guy seems so freaking clueless. He's like, um, um. Sub Sam or whatever he's mentioning people's names wrong trying to talk to people doesn't even know who Sasha is thinks she's a part of the community remembers Maggie but he's not sure what's going on the only person's name he seems to get right is Jesus and that's because Jesus just so happens to pretty much run the place but he's not in charge so Gregory just sits there and says no you guys gotta go this is gonna be a problem for us and leads Jesus to kind of get frustrated with him but it looks like Maggie and Sasha are going to have to leave. Moment number three, and that is that Carl is absolutely pissed at Rick. He doesn't want to talk to Rick. He's not happy with it. You know, Rick's trying to convince him, hey, man, why don't you come on a run with us? You know, Carl's over there really still struggling with the fact that he only has one eye. He is missing that dartboard ridiculously. But he decides, I'm not going with you, I'm staying here, and it's obvious that he's not happy with his dad. He's not happy with the way things are. Well, in the process of this, he notices that Enid is sneaking out again. So he talks to Enid. He's like, you know what, I'm done with you. I'm done trying to chase after you. Enid says, I need to check on Maggie. I need to make sure she's okay. And Enid leaves. Now, in the process of Enid leaving, a walker starts coming at her, and she seems a little freaked out, a little more so than she should be, because you would have think, at this point, this girl could take care of herself. But don't worry. We just so happen to have a teenage driver there to save the day, and he knocks the, knocks the walker down, then runs over him, hitting things all over the place. Now, you got to imagine, teenage drivers aren't very good. Take into consideration, he's also missing an eye, okay? So he's a really bad teenage driver. And he takes out the walker, and he's all over the place, and he's there to rescue her. Uh, thankfully, Carl um, can at least see good enough out of one eye to knock down the walker with the car. While at the hilltop, Maggie and Sasha are sitting there in their little area that um, Jesus is basically giving them his place to stay in. And all of a sudden, there's this loud music coming, and the gates are open, and walkers walking in. The doors are locked. It seems like this weird moment, because at the moment, I wasn't sure what was going on. But it seems like it's a message from the saviors. The saviors, again, coming in there, kind of messing things up. Well, thankfully, they're able to get out there. Sasha gets out, and this whole scene breaks down. It was really cool. You had Sasha fighting him. You had Jesus looking awesome, like the cool bearded ninja that he is, killing things, knocking things out. And even Maggie gets involved in it. Maggie gets in a tractor and runs over some walkers in a tractor. You know, this is a country girl, and she knows how to use a tractor. She runs over those guys and takes out a gremlin. And you know what? Hey, Maggie, good job. Moment number five, and that is this interesting conversation between Carl and Enid. As they're on their way, you know, they find some roller skates. They're having some teenage fun, having a little you know, roller rink love skate going on in the apocalypse. But it turns out as she's talking to him, she says, you know, you watched. He had mentioned before that he saw Glenn and Abraham die. And she wants to know why he watched. And he said he watched because he wants to be able to have what it takes to kill Negan when he needs to. And it was just kind of just this hardcore, you know, Rick of the past. Rick has made Carl into old Rick, who now is missing, you got Rick now who's just kind of scared and wanting to do what's best. And you have Carl really stepping up and really turning into this awesome character. Moment number six, the saviors show up at Hilltop. And they're there. They're ready to take what is theirs. Half, 
and they're there in the process of this, and they're talking to Gregory, and they explain to him, you know what, the guys who used to be in charge of this, they're gone now, and now we are, we're still just, again, still the saviors, just another group of the saviors. And they say that they're there to get their part, and in the process, you got Gregory trying to be very diplomatic and also being very cowardly about the whole situation, but in the moment, he decides, you know what, I'm going to sell out Sasha, and I'm going to sell out Maggie, who are hiding inside a closet. He proceeds to take them to the closet. When he opens it, they're not there. What is there is all of his scotch. And it's funny because you get this look on Jesus' face like, yep, I kind of tricked you, but he was also kind of disappointed that Gregory was going to be such a slimy character that he was going to turn them in. And I think that's a very important moment for Jesus to get over the fact that he is willing to accept Gregory as his leader. Moment number seven, Jesus literally sets the rules. He is sick of Gregory and the way he's being this manipulative, just only worried about himself. He's not worried about anybody else. And he basically says, you know what? You might be in charge, but you're not. He almost as if he takes the power away, but he doesn't necessarily take it for himself. But who does take it for himself is Maggie. When he comes over there, Maggie decks this guy. Again, country girls, look out guys. They're a little scary. And she knocks him in the face and she says, listen, you know, that is for trying to sell us out. And it's funny is later on, there's a little conversation between Sasha, Maggie and Jesus, where Jesus mentions, you know, we need a new leader. We'll talk about that later. And that he hadn't seen anybody willing to take that spot until now. Now, we all know, if you don't know, Maggie will eventually become the leader of Hilltop. And I thought it was a great way to see her show that she can be the boss. Moment number eight, and probably the biggest moment of this entire episode, one I'm super excited about, and that is that Carl decides he is going to sneak on board. He is going to get in there. Enid went already to the hilltop. He's getting on board, and he is going to kill Negan. This is an awesome moment from the comics. It's going to lead to more awesome moments. I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to happen, but it is, and I'm super, super excited about it. Something else that happens in the process is that Sasha talks to Jesus and says she needs to find out where Negan lives. She wants to take care of him herself. You can already see that it looks like Sasha is going to be taking the Holly story arc from the comics. So she decides this is what she wants to do, tells Jesus to keep it to themselves. So Jesus jumps on board, again, trying to figure out where Negan is sleeping, and he runs into Carl. Now you have this awesome road trip between Carl and Jesus, two great characters that are on the rise, on their way to see the saviors. Now, I don't know about you, but that got me really excited and really, really looking forward to seeing what happens with them. But this episode overall was really good. Again, kind of took us to a different place. You know, we've been to the kingdom, we've been back to Alexandria, now we're at the hilltop, kind of seeing what's going on. Looks like next week we're gonna get to see another community. And you're all probably wondering, what's up with all these communities? But listen, it's going to be important. We need all these communities together to rise up against Negan, and we're getting to see them here and there. If you like this episode, let us know. If there's a moment you missed, leave us a comment. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, we'll see you later.